Hey YouTube, it's Jessica back again and today I want to tell you that I am a girl. Actually, at this point in my life, I probably should say or could say that I am a woman. That I am a female. Alright, so, <laughs> basically, what I am trying to say right now is that I am biologically female, which means that I was born um, with a vagina and estrogen and all that disgusting stuff. Um, I present physically as a female, stereotypically as a female, I should say, physically, stereotypically as a female. Um, we talk a lot, a lot about gender identity, being FTM girlfriends or FTMs or supporters, allies, or just as people who talk a lot about gender identity. Um, and so today I'm going to talk a little bit at first about my gender identity. Because, like I said, I was born biologically female. I present stereotypically female physically, but I don't identify as female, if that makes any sense. Um, when I think about it, like, who I am, what I identify as, I don't think that there's ever been a time in my life where I identify, like, as I am a woman, I am a female. And, uh, it'll be interesting to see, actually, if you have ever done that, like, actually, sorry, my screen just went black on me, um, if you have ever actually done that, like, sat down and, like, other than if you're trans, because I believe that trans people probably do this a little more often, but, um, if you ever, like, actually, like, think of yourself as anyone other than yourself, I identify as Jessica, that's my name, that's who I am. Um, I identify with decisions I've made, um, choices, things like that. But I never, like, never in my head do I identify myself as a woman, like, or a girl. Like, hi, my name's Jessica, and I'm a girl. Like, well, yeah, you can see that. I don't know. The point to all of this is that, um... I think that, personally, call me controversial or crazy or whatever you will, but, um, everybody should just identify as themselves, um, as who they are, not as a gender. Um, I think that if people started doing that, we would be able to eliminate a lot of criticisms, stereotypes, etc. Um, for instance, my solution to the video I ranted about um, a couple of days ago or a week ago or something like that um, is I'm going to create a new sexual orientation. And this is really exciting, so get ready. My new genius sexual orientation. Sexual. I said it. Sexual. Not bisexual, trisexual, pansexual, transsexual. I don't know if there's more homosexual, heterosexual. How about just sexual? Because unless you're asexual, everybody is sexual. And that's really all that anybody needs to know. That's really all you need to know. Um... I think that the biggest problem in today's society is not that society labels other people, but that people label themselves. Um, for instance, the video that I ranted about, this girl has it so dead set in her head that she is a lesbian, um, that she needs to be with girls, she's decided she only wants to be with girls. But what the hell does that even mean? What girls. What do you mean you're only going to be with girls? Um, 
what is a girl? Is that a person with a vagina? Or a, no, because technically, until surgery happens, her partner would technically have a vagina, whether it was called that or not, that's none of my business. So, by saying you only date girls, do you only date people who identify as girls? Because it's his identity that's changing, how he identifies himself. So, if you only date girls who present and identify as girls, does that mean that you could date an MTF? Who presents and identifies as girls, but could possibly still have a penis? Like, I just don't understand how you can get yourself hung up on a type of person. There is no type of people. You can't put anybody in a category. These categories, these lesbian, straight, bi, whatever, they are like vast, giant, I don't know, humongous categories, like spectrums that you can throw people somewhere on, but they, there is no like lesbians here, straight people here. There's, n there's, n I don't believe that you can belong to one single soul category. I do not think that you can say something like, I date girls, only girls. I date boys, only boys. I date people. I'm dating Toby. Uh, that's the only way I know how to explain it. So that's that's my solution to that. Um, let's just be sexual. Yeah, I think I th I think it's a good solution. I think it's a good compromise. Um, Everybody has their own personal tastes. So, sexual works. Everybody's sexual. Unless you're asexual, like I said. But that's a whole other, whole other thing that I'm never going to touch. So don't even ask me to because that is something outside of my uh, wealth of knowledge, we'll say. And I don't really have much interest in learning. I guess I could. Maybe I will. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do some research. Anyway, my next thing that I said I was going to talk about in this video is our um, big news. So the first thing is that I got a new job, which is really exciting. But I won't bore you with the details about that. Just know that I got a new job, and that's that's exciting. Um... And our second thing is fundraiser for top surgery. Okay, so Toby has his first endocrinologist appointment on May 31st. So coming up soon, yay. Uh, we're both really, really, really excited about that. I'm actually kind of nervous about that. But maybe I'll make a whole other video on that closer to the date. Um, but I came up with an idea. I feel like everyone is kind of doing the t-shirt thing or like making something. Um... I don't really have any skills that I could offer you guys. Like, I could not make a t-shirt to save my life. You would not want to buy a t-shirt for me. Um, and that goes for Toby as well. Like, we were like, oh, what are we going to do? Like, everyone's stolen all the good stuff, and we can't do anything, and we don't have the money to, to do anything. Like, so I was trying to come up with, like, if I was going to fork out money to somebody to help them pay for their surgery, what would I want to get out of it? Then I got this brilliant idea. Hopefully it's brilliant. Let me know what you think. Because honestly, if like there's enough negative feedback, I'll have to come up with something new. But I kind of think it's a brilliant idea, and this is my way right now of trying to convince you that it's a brilliant idea and explain the situation to you. So, here's what we're thinking. We are going to have a website up and running. I almost have it done. It will be done by the 31st of May which is when it will officially be open and I will announce it to you guys and give you guys the link. Um, 
on this website there's going to be information blogs um, all that kind of stuff about our life um, and Toby's transition and there is also going to be a link to PayPal for you to make donations except that you won't just be making donations our very ambitious thought process here is that on May 31st it will open it will be we will be open for donations etc but this is going to be a 50 50 draw so what we are doing is we are hoping to raise enough money. Now this is like this is the super ambitious part. Now I find that most people end up raising enough money for the surgery and still having enough left over to give away. So what we're really asking is kind of a big deal. We are hoping to raise sixteen thousand dollars so that we can raise eight thousand dollars for Toby's top surgery and so that we can draw a winner for a 50-50. So by donating money, you will be scanned a ticket um, and it will be emailed to you. And uh, then the other half of your ticket, obviously here, will go into a draw and on May 31st of 2013, we will be drawing the winner of the 50-50. Now, if we do not have the whole other 8,000 left, the winner will receive um, however much over the $8,000 we have. So let's say we raise um, $10,000. The winner of the 50-50 draw will get $2,000. If we reach the $16,000 mark before the 31st, then um, any additional money raised after the $16,000 will also go to the winner of, sorry, my screen went black again, to the winner of the 50-50 draw. Um, it's going to take a lot of organization and like I said it's very ambitious like to be tr hoping to get that much money especially when I'm not offering like a service or a product just the chance at winning um, winning eight thousand dollars and if for all of the like other FTM supporters that's somebody else's top surgery that they could win with not without even having to worry about their own fundraiser right so um, I'm hoping that it's motivational enough that people will want to donate and help out and that it's like a really cool idea but um, yeah there's there's a couple little kinks and details to still work out um, so yeah please give me your feedback on that if you think it's like a hideously horrible idea or it's too hard or it's I don't know um, I'll be able to give you more information and stuff I wanted by the time I announced this in the video to have the like website up and running like not so much the PayPal part because that's not starting until the 31st, but I uh, I wanted to have something to show you guys, but it's like t exhausting me trying to work on it, um, especially with everything else. Like I said, new job and a three-year-old, almost four-year-old now. So anyway, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry that I made this video very long and I know that it wasn't the greatest. I have a habit of talking very monotone on camera and I don't look at the camera. So I'm going to work on that, I promise. Uh, hopefully my videos will keep getting better. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks. Bye.